So I got this message and it just doesn't sit well with me. And it should be obvious, but I want to explain why as a pediatrician, a mom and someone married to an ER physician. And first I want you to just put yourself in the shoes of the parent. If your one child died and someone said, it's only one death, why shouldn't you care? Why the hoopla? Seriously, how would that make you feel? As a pediatrician and as someone married to an ER doctor, I know, unfortunately, that children die from many things, accidents, preventable causes, and tragic circumstances beyond anyone's control. And any child lost is a tragedy. And no parent, in my belief, should ever have to outlive their child. But I want to share a story from a few weeks ago. So my husband's an ER physician. He came home. There was a family that was diverted to another hospital, but it was a mother and her children who were in a motor vehicle accident and her and four children died. And you can look up the story here in Florida. They were unrestrained in the car. Now we weren't at the scene. So of course we don't know for sure if they would have survived had they been properly seat belted or in a car seat. But what we do know is this, and this is what everyone knows to be true. Seat belts and car seats significantly reduce the risk of serious injury or death in motor vehicle accidents. And that story was extra tragic because of course a mother and her four children died, but it's also tragic because we knew that it was potentially preventable. Maybe if they didn't die, they would have had less serious outcomes or maybe just bumps and bruises. And this is why the death of this child from measles is tragic because it could have been prevented. Now, we don't know this child underlying medical history and people still harp on that and say, well, maybe they had issues, but that's also not nice. Measles can be dangerous for both healthy children and those with underlying medical conditions, both. But for children who can get vaccinated, the MMR vaccine significantly reduces the risk of hospitalization and death, just like a freaking seatbelt or car seat properly installed. So currently, at least one Texas hospital where the child died confirmed that all children hospitalized there were unvaccinated right now. And this is not fear. This is fact. And some of these children may make great recoveries. And we hope so. The doctors treating these families hope so, too. But that doesn't change the fact that these hospitalizations, this one death could have been prevented just like when you don't wear a damn seatbelt. So yes, one death matters. It's not fear mongering. It's the loss of a child. And we should feel sad when something's preventable. And that's why people are feeling upset because behind every one death is a real family, a real child. And in this situation, something that could have been prevented.